Hello everyone! In this video we want to create a sliding up panel like you can see in this image here. And basically what we want to build is this panel which is sliding up and down. And inside of this panel we want to have a tab bar and we have also this scrollable content inside and I think that's it so let's get started so basically what we do first is to go to the installing section and then copy this sliding up panel dependency and back into our IDE we go to our pubspec jumble file and into our dependencies we add this sliding up panel inside like I did it here and then you need to restart your application and now we go to our home page so this is the page which we want to create our panel for. So I have created already this main image widget. So this is basically this background image and also a text inside. And now we want to create this panel on top of it. And therefore we wrap this widget here into this sliding up panel. And this is exactly the widget from the plugin. And then we have here a body property and there comes our image inside and on top of it we have the sliding up panel and now we need to put here also some other things inside like you can see so basically first of all we need to set a panel builder inside and inside of this callback we get a scroll controller and then we want to build our panel so i call here a new method and I will put the scroll controller here inside. And here inside we need to place our content of the sliding panel. And I will put right now only the tab widget inside which I've already created. And this is a basic widget with some scroll controller and a list view which gets the scroll controller. And there inside we have some padding and some text and image and also another text. So it's like really basic stuff and we put here our controller inside and now we can hot reload and then you see here that we have here already this panel and you can also put it up and down and like you can see we can always scroll in this panel up and down and if we reach the top then it's going down again and what we want to do is we want also to place here inside a tab bar and we also want to show here some icon which is showing that we have here this uh, sliding up panel. So I will first of all put this tab widget into a column and this I have done because then we can rename it here to a tab bar view and I will simply duplicate this view so we want to have two tabs and I just have two contents here with the same tab and now we can also hot reload it so it's not working yet so we have also to wrap this around another widget which is called default tab controller and basically we get here the length which we can set so we have two tabs and now if i hot reload then we have no error anymore but to show the tab bar we also need to put here this tab bar inside so i will simply wrap it here into a scaffold and the tab bar view will be part of and inside of our app bar property we will put our tab bar inside so i call here a new method which is called tab bar and inside of this i will create first of all an app bar and here i need to set three properties so first of all i set the icon so this will be on top of this app bar this is the icon icons dot drag handle and then i will also make sure that this icon is centered and the next thing what we need to do is to put here also the tab bar inside so this gets basically the tabs so we will create one tab and here we have the child property to set our text for this tab and here we set for example vegetarian and the second tab bar we create for non-vegetarian and now we can basically hot reload it and then you see we have here this tab bar, we have this icon here at the top and this tab bar and we can toggle here between them and we can also slide between them and we can always go up and down here. And we want to change a little bit how it looked like. So we will first of all 
go into our main file and here inside I will remove this primary swatch and then I will also set the primary color to, to white so that I have here this white background of this tab bar and then we can go back to our home page and I also want to make this tab bar a little bit smaller so I can wrap this here around a preferred size widget and here inside we can set our preferred size and I take here the size from height and then you can supply here a height so I will just create some field and I will just create it here at the top and I will set it to 80 and then I hot reload it and now you see that the tab bar got a little bit smaller and what we also can do now is to change how this uh, sliding panel behaves because here inside of the sliding panel we have different properties and like you can see we have a lot of properties but basically what you can set is the min height and this is by default 100 so by default it is that 100 pixels are shown here but if you want to change it you can for example set it to 200 and then if you hot restart then you see that we have here now 200 pixels and you can also go up then you see that it is by default 300 pixels and more so you can always change it. I keep it for the default value so I can remove it but I want to set the max height and the max height I want to set to the media query of context and therefore we get here the height property so we get the size and then the height so this is basically the height of our screen and then I subtract here the tab bar height and now if I go here up and slide up then you see he is going under the top of the screen and I also can scroll here up and down and then it's always going here to the top what we also can do, we can change this icon here. So if you don't like this icon, for example, and want to have this one, which we have, for example, here in our sliding plugin. So here, if you watch close, we have here this gray box kind of thing. So we can also put it there inside. So if you like it more, then we replace it. And therefore we go here to our app bar. And instead of this icon, we show here our own drag icon. So I will simply call here build drag icon and here below I will create this. So we create here our own one. So here we create a container and then we give this container a width and a height. So I set here for example a width of 52 and a height of 8. And I also can give here a color. So basically I want to give it a decoration. So box decoration. And inside of this we set a color. So I set it to gray. And now you see that we have here this gray box and you can also get it rounded. So what we can do is we can set here the border radius and then we set it, for example, to circular. And then you can set here a value of eight or 12 or something. And then you see we have here this gray box. And maybe this gray is a little bit too much. So we can also set it here to black with opacity. And then I set here a lower value. So for example, this one here. And yeah, basically you can change it like you want. And then you have here this other look and feel of this bar. You can also set it a little bit less in width, maybe like this. I think this looks great. And the last thing I want to do is I also want that if you click here on this tab bar that it is sliding automatically up because if the user is tapping here he probably wants that this is going up and how we can do this is by going to our tab bar widget and this one we wrap into a gesture detector so I put here a gesture detector inside and then I set here this on tap and I set here an on click handler so that we can handle our tap outside of this widget and I set here this void callback and now we can go here to the top and now every time if we clicked here we want to uh, slide the tab bar to the top. So what we also can have in our slide up panel is the controller to control how this panel behaves. So I can set here this panel controller and I will also set up this panel controller here at the top and then we set this panel controller here inside of our sliding up panel and I will also put it here into our panel itself so I will just create here another field and here I will also create this field in this method 
And now I can use this controller here inside. So I will call this panel controller and then we have here the property open. And with this method, we can basically make sure that this panel is sliding up and it is animating to the top. All right, now let's try this out. So I have hot restarted this application and if I tap here somewhere on this level, then he will slide up and I can also click on this one. And with this, I think the tab bar is really great. So you can slide up and down. You can slide here between the tabs and you can watch everything and then you can slide up. Or you just press here on the bottom and then he will also slide up. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.